Hi guys, so in our previous lesson for dresses, we went over how to create a shift dress uh, sloper, um, which combined a sort of top and bottom and used uh, double edged darts or double sided darts or diamond darts to create the fit. Now we're going to take a look at a slightly different version uh, which uses princess seams. Um, so I'm going to actually use the bodice and the skirt sloper and combine them into a princess seamed uh, sloper for a dress. And of course you can sort of then uh, finish out the necessary pieces and create just a very simple um, princess seamed dress if you so desire. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Optitex and I want to get both my skirt sloper and my bodice sloper in one piece. So I'm going to open one or the other. start with the skirt and then just to get the bodice I'm going to open OptiTex again because I actually don't have one in one file right now but it's easy to move pieces from file to file. Let's open up that bodice. Select both, control C to copy and then we can just move it on into the other window and there we go we have both bodice and skirt pattern ready for us so what I want to do again is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and um, make a princess seam pattern that is going to join uh, both the skirt and the front sloper so um, what I want to do is I want to prep uh, first my um, uh, skirt darts uh, into one dart and I can do that pretty easily I just want to make sure that so my princess seam is going to be uh, I already have one dart in my bodice sloper here so I just want to make sure that when I combine my darts in the back they're going to line up accurately so that's um, three and an eighth and I believe this was three and an eighth as well so Let's just make sure, yep, yeah, okay, so that looks good. So what I first want to do is I want to combine my darts. Let's start with the back here. Now, um, we should remember how we combine darts, um, but if you forget, it was all the way at the beginning of the semester, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up the total dart width, which should be about two inches, and it is, and I'm going to delete each individual dart, not close them because again, I don't want to take out that allotment we put in there for darts. Now I'm going to leave this point because that is where I want my dart to start, but since it's going to be a new measurement, I'm going to take out a lot of these points that we use to um, make the darts to begin with. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and place another point. And again, it's going to be uh, a distance from my previous point of two inches, which again represents the two dart, uh, the, the two darts width combined into one. So there we are, and we can make it, you know, let's make it a grading point. Forgot to do that in the measurement box, but again, we can always right click go to attributes and make sure that it's grading. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the dart, and this time I'm going to make it go all the way down to the hip, and this is just going to make the sort of uh, seam we create fit a little bit better. Because again, we are not now at this point going to be doing a dart. So if I did it all the way down, it's the same as, as reaching to the apex. It can sometimes leave a kind of um, pointy bump for us. But again, since we're not actually going to be doing darts, we're going to be doing um, seams. Uh, it's perfectly fine and we'll just smooth it out when we create the seam. Okay, now let's do the same for the front. And again, just I want to double check that measurement. Oh, I'm sorry. I measured the back distance, but I think it should be the same. That three, yeah. Okay, so it's the same on both. So I measured the front and then did the back, which maybe some, hopefully you guys noticed. <laughs> but it's the same front to back, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. Okay. Um, and then let's remember what this width was, which was uh, 0.62, around 5 eighths. 
Um, so we're going to add that together and get about, um, well, 5 eighths plus 5 eighths, uh, 10 eighths, so an inch and um, an inch point two. Going to do the same thing. And let's get rid of these guys. Again, keeping that first one there. And let's go ahead and put in our measurement. And remember, 5 eighths plus 5 eighths would be an inch and a quarter. And there we are, and again, I forgot to grade it, but again, no matter. Okay, now let's go ahead and put our dart in, and remember this was three and a half inches, and I don't really need to make it any longer here. I'm just gonna keep it at that three and a half inches. A little bit shorter. There we are. Okay, now that we've combined uh, our double darts into one dart, let's go ahead and prep our bodice pieces. So what I want to do is essentially put this into a, I want to make both of them into uh, princess seams and then join them. So we should know how to do that. Obviously we went over princess seams quite a, quite a bit. So um, let's take a look at uh, just the first front piece, the front bodice. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out my dart. Can get rid of it. Now what I want to do is I want to cut it up to the middle of my princess seam. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm actually going to start up here, making sure that I'm in the middle of the shoulder and holding the Alt key and using my proportionate value to make sure that I'm cutting this uh, seam right in half. And then, and again, we can kind of curve it if you go straight. It, it's fine. It just, it's going to have a slightly nicer look if you curve it a little bit. And again, we can uh, adjust this as we go. All right, there we are. Now let's do it for the back. In the back, we already have a mark here for the middle of the shoulder, because that's where our dart is. So all we have to do is cut out both darts. And this one too. have to do from here again is cut from dart tip to dart tip. Maybe I'll do a little curve point in the middle. I'm hoping it's not going to snap to the grain line. There we go. Alrighty. So I have my front and back all set up with their princess seams. So let's go ahead and continue on to our skirt. Zoom out a little bit. And pretty much the same procedure. I'm going to first cut out the dart. And let's get rid of the dart. And what I want is I want to go ahead and I want to cut straight down from that dart tip to the hem. So I can use a guideline. I'm going to snap it just at that dart tip. And then I can use that guideline to start here and then end right here and get that nice straight cut all the way down. All right, let's do the same for the front. Oh, got rid of the uh, hit delete, but got rid of my guideline, not the piece. All right, let's drag out our guideline again. Cut straight down from that dart tip. All the way down to the hem. All 
Okay, so there we are. We have both our bodice and our skirt divided into one princess seam. So let's go ahead and now combine uh, both of our bodice to our skirt. And let's start here with our back skirt sloper. So what I want to do with my center back, and let's zoom all so I can get it all lined up nicely. So I want this grain line, this back grain line to be nice and lined up. Um, so let's zoom in and make sure that I'm lining up my center back lines perfectly. So this is going to come down here and what I want to do is I'm going to, it's, there's going to be a little bit of ease left in the waist and we're going to see this, but I'm going to bring this down. I'm not going to overlap my piece at all. So I'm going to come down. There's going to be this little space in between, but again, my back and my front are, uh, I'm sorry, my back, my center back lines for my top and my bottom are lined up here perfectly along that guideline. Now what I want to do is I want to join these pieces together, but I want to join them kind of uh, perfectly flat. Actually, you can use the join piece tool here if we make these both perfectly flat, but it might be easier for you, and it's gonna, I think it's gonna be easier for me, to go ahead and draft this entire piece all together. Um, if it's not perfectly flat, then some of the pieces can kind of skew when you do do that join piece. So I'm going to go ahead and protect both of these pieces. And let's zoom in a little bit. It's kind of long. So we might have to kind of draft and then move it around a little bit. But let's grab our draft tool and let's start to draft this whole piece. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to really smooth this out. You see how this is kind of has these points to it? This entire thing I'm going to kind of curve. Now if I need to move it and alter it because it's getting too far away, I can. But I'm going to curve all these points to make them kind of nice and smooth. I want to avoid kind of having sharp points in this seam. It's just going to make it easier to sew and it's going to make it sort of lie smoother. Of course we can, oh it looks like I'm going to have to put a couple new extra points in here. Just so it doesn't bow out like that. And this should be straight all the way up, but if you want to leave points for your hip, waist, no bust on the back, but if you want to do that, go right ahead. So you'll have those markers. You could have done the shoulder blade, but again, shoulder blade, who cares about the shoulder blade? And there it is, there's my piece. So let's zoom out. Okay, so here we are, center back. I'm going to just, because this again is sloper, I'm not going to finish it completely, but I'm going to correct the grain, should go along my center back line, and it should be center back, uh, princess seam dress, or we can just go with the dress to make it simpler. Alright, so there is our uh, center back, and pretty much um, what we're going to do for the rest of them is exactly the same. We're going to align, and then we're going to go ahead and... Um, draft. So again, let's do the side back. Now I don't have a nice grain line to do this, but I want them to kind of sit up nicely. Um, so I'm going to zoom in here for the top a little bit. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. I don't have to do a lot of rotation or anything. The only thing I want to avoid is, um, again, I want to get them as close and nicely lined up as possible, but I want to avoid any overlap. Again, we want to err on the side of adding a little bit of ease to that waist here, uh, not the other way around. So, okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and maybe I'll try to do the whole thing. Not have to move up and down, but let's draft.
I might decide to curve that waist point too, we'll see. See how it looks. Again, we're going to try to avoid overly pointy points. You want to kind of smooth it out. So again, for this, I'm going to curve, curve, curve all these lines. Oh, I might actually. So see how that's happening? I'm going to have to put it in so it doesn't um, bow out too much, but I can always correct it later on. So I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do to correct that, I should probably should have just put a little point right before that because I, this may made curve, which I do want it to be a curve, but I don't want it to bow all the way out here. So um, I'm going to add a point just right here and then um, use my move point tool to just snap that right back where it needs to be. Very good. All right. Let's bring it out. Now for this, we don't have, well, see how that pinches in? I'm gonna have to fix that a little bit more. Let's, let's zoom in. So I think, okay, that's straight. So I want it to be, I don't want it to be coming out too much like that. Sorry about my dog. So I am going to put another point in there just to uh, help keep that a little bit. And I might also have to move that this other point in a little bit. So let's go ahead and sort of move it in. There, that's looking much better. Okay. So um, now to do the grain, like I was saying, um, it's a little bit more tricky because we don't have a center front or center back line. Um, so we're actually going to use a different tool to set the grain line. Now what I want the grain to be is I kind of want it straight up and down. And um, by straight up and down, I mean perpendicular to my hem. So what I'm going to use is a um, new tool in the baseline or grain line section. And it's called set baseline perpendicular. And what it does is instead of, so before we would just go along the line that we wanted it to parallel. Well, now I'm going to go along a line that I want it to perpendicularly uh, kind of go with. So, all right, and again, I want it to point up because the other one's pointing up. Um, so again, I went along this line and it made the grain line match perpendicularly. So now it's going kind of nice and straight up and down on that piece. So let's go ahead and move it aside and label it. And this would be our side back piece. There we go. And just like before, whenever we can um, make princess seams or something, you should always be able to see the darts in the sort of fitting construction in the negative spaces when the pieces are put together. So that's why you can see, you can still see the little dart there. You can see sort of a diamond dart shape here. And we're going to do the same on the front. So let's get rid of these pieces because we don't need them anymore. And let's go ahead with the front. Now the front, here we go. Again, I have that nice center front line. So I'm going to line up a grain line right there and grab my center front piece and line it up right here. Boop. And let's zoom in to make sure it's lined up all nicely. Again, erring on the side of giving our waist a little bit more ease. I want to steer away from overlap. So that little, little bit there is going to be just fine. And now let's protect and draft. Nope. I may want my bust line, so I'm just going to make a point for bust, waist, hip, just because I might need it. Not, it's a nice reference point for us. Again, I'm going to curve all these lines in between. Now I might, let's do 
do one more so it doesn't, you know. So the problem with crowding is it might start to get off of the, the desired line because it should be pretty close. So if so, you might need to go ahead and make a few extra points just to keep it where you want it to be. All right, looking good. And there we are, we've got our front piece. Yoop. And again, I can use the basic grain line tool because I have that nice center front to align it with. And let's name it. Get rid of the pieces we don't longer need, we no longer need. And now let's go ahead and do the um, uh, side front. Now the side front's going to be a little wonky because look at this angle, okay? What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to rotate it to line up a little bit better. So let's go ahead and zoom in to do that. I'm going to grab my rotate piece tool and I'm just going to rotate it so I get a little bit better uh, matching lines here and again I don't want to overlap so there's overlapping a little bit so let me zoom wide in there and there it's actually looking very good so let's go ahead and draft it I think I can afford to zoom in a little bit more let's see there we are. So let's protect both these pieces. And draft. Again, I want to curve these points. Smooth out what's going on here. out my waist a little bit. And there we have it. over here. It's looking good. I think um, the only thing I'm noticing is maybe a little bit of a bump here. See how it's going like in and out. So I'm going to just do what I did before and put another little point right there and grab my move point tool just to sort of scoot that line in so it doesn't sort of bump out like that. Very nice. Okay, good. And let's see this should be a curved point. Oh, let's make it curved. There we go. This should also be a curved point. There we go. I'm going to maybe move this in just a little bit. Boop. So it kind of just comes up and smooths itself. Excellent. Alright. Oh, I curved those points. Okay, yeah. So these guys too, I want to curve that point, make sure all these points are curves. This is what you want to avoid in, um, okay. So here's, I'm running into a problem. So see how I curved this, but then it went really crazy. Um, so let's go back out and I'm going to move this back over here. And then we're going to take a look at, see, you can see that line curving in too much there. So I need to correct that. So let's zoom in and I'm going to go ahead and let's see that. I don't know. I swore I, I hit shift. So let's curve all these points. That might have already done the trick. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. But right here, it's still curving in a little bit. And this gets a little tricky too because um, the center front piece has a lot of
coming in and out and things like that. Alright, so I'm going to have to definitely, let's see, okay. let's check up here because now it's coming out, out too much, let's zoom out a little bit. So I'm definitely going to have to add a few more points just to wrangle this guy back in. Now it's okay if he comes out a little bit, that's fine. We don't want too much. I just kind of wanted to soften those edges, not really add too much more ease. It's popping out here, so let's wrangle that back in a bit. So see, it's still coming out a little bit, but that's okay. It's much closer to what we want. Here it's coming out. So let's add another point there. I swear I hit shift to, to curve these points, but look at this, it's all not curved. Maybe I was hitting the wrong button. But again, no matter, because I just select them. Oop. Oop. All right, I'm just going to scan up and down. Oh, so it's stinking in there too. So let's go ahead and uh, wrangle this back out a bit. Let's finalize this. There's our side. Can get rid of this now. I don't need it anymore. And just like the side back, I'm going to go ahead and use that um, set baseline perpendicular tool. Boop, boop. And oh, let's do it the other way so all my arrows are pointing the right way. Remember, we want all our arrows to point the right way, or at least the same way. Let's name it. Oops. And there we are. So uh, there it is. We can add a descriptor on each one. I think I forgot to put this in the last one, so I won't take off. Um, and it is the princess dress and of course we're working with a size 8 and we can just go ahead and put that little descriptor on for all our pieces why don't I do this the smart way and not the hard way copy it So um, just last thing I want to, doesn't really matter if it's hanging off the side, especially since this is sloper, um, but just to double check, you can zoom in, and um, so long as it is uh, not hanging off the side in the zoomed in version, uh, it won't print out that way, which is really all you care about. Um, and there you go. So there it is. There's your princess seam dress, and you can go ahead and alter it from there. Of course, not for this assignment. For this assignment, you're going to do one, uh, the shift sloper or this sloper or both for extra credit. And then next week, uh, you'll do your own dress design, um, which uh, I'll show a few different sort of alter, uh, alterations, um, but there's, there's really so many. Um, but what I'd really like you to do is refer to your pattern making book because there's just endless uh, variations of what you can do with the dress there, uh, especially with using these two uh, slopers. Uh, and you can, uh, you know, if you want to keep a waist seam in your skirt, or I'm sorry, your dress too, you can make your student dress, your student design dress with just the bodice and uh, skirt pattern as well. So um, it's really up to you. You have the freedom to 
really be as adventurous as you want. Um, and uh, again, please, please refer to your uh, pattern making textbook. Um, and again, that is the required text. And I just want to say that it's probably the best um, book that you could possibly buy if you are interested in fashion design. So if you hadn't gotten it yet, well, it's also required for other classes, so shame on you. Um, <laughs> anyways, so that is uh, finished. So that was a fairly easy draft. Um, at least it didn't take that long. Uh, hopefully you'll find it easy too. Um, and so you'll find it so easy that you'll want to, you know, do both for extra credit. So um, that is that, and I'll come back next week to see you with some dress uh, variations and uh, techniques on how to create the dresses that we want. Uh, but let's not forget to save as. Now I want to save as and not save because I, this was originally my skirt slipper. So let's do your name uh, princess seam dress. Oh, great. Um, so my thumb drive isn't working. Um, which sometimes if I just disconnect and reconnect and not log off, it will work. Let's see. You, I'll disconnect you because there's no... <laughs> I'll stop because there's no need for you to know. Um, but, alright. See you guys. Bye-bye.